Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today's video is going to be a tutorial slash kind of like a talk through slash get ready with me type of video. So yeah, this is what today's look ended up turning out to be. I asked on Twitter if you guys wanted to see a really warm copper look or a emerald green look and they're both neck and neck for like hours and hours. So I'm like, I'm gonna do both. So I incorporated an emerald green with this really pretty warm coppery look and hope you guys enjoy this look. Hope you guys had an amazing holiday season or like coming up holiday seasons that's gonna be happening very soon. I'm so excited, I love holiday season. It's like Thanksgiving time and like Christmas time, like that is my bread and butter for the whole entire year. I just love it so much and I'm very, very excited for this year. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this video. I hope you guys enjoy this little background as well. I wanna switch up my backgrounds. I'm trying to change it up as much as I can. I, of course, have the background backdrops kind of thing like going on as well in this beauty room, but I switched that around everything so I can also have like a lifestyle type of setup. This is my other side of my room. And so, yeah, I really like how this looks as well. Let me know if you guys like this kind of background, like more of a lifey type background, or you guys like the backdrops. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys do not like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. <laughs> But if you guys do like this video, please subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And if you're new, hi, I'm Manny MUA, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Um, but yeah, let's go and get into this festive get ready with me. <laughs> okay, guys, so let's go and get started on today's video. I honestly... I don't know what we're gonna film yet. I really don't know what eye look I'm gonna do yet. I'm waiting for this poll. Go on Twitter. We're gonna see, but first thing first, we're gonna do our whole entire face today because that's what we're doing. I'm taking Professional by Benefit, obviously. One of my go-to primers. Just putting that in the T-zone of the face. How have you guys been? Actually, it's been a while since I filmed. Hopefully this is like gonna be okay because I haven't filmed in so long. I've been out of town, as you guys know this. Maybelline Matte Poreless. I hope this is my color. This is a brand new color I just grabbed. I hope, hopefully it is, I don't even know. I grabbed the shade 128 Warm Nude. How's that look? That looks pretty good, right? Parents are coming up from San Diego up here because my dad's birthday is tomorrow. And so I'm gonna try to pre-film several videos right now so that I can spend some time with my mom and my dad. And in the next few days, it's freaking Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving so much. And I think it's because I'm a big girl and I just love food, you know? I just really do. Do you know what's funny is like I've been getting, and I think it's because the new lighting shows colors very, very true. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of comments about like the blue, like the darkness here from my beard area because I do shave and then I'll put makeup on it and you can still see a blue cast. That's totally fine with me. I'm totally okay with that. As you guys know, I'm not trying to like make it look like I'm a girl or I'm not trying to cover up the fact that I'm a man. That's, I don't care. I don't, I don't shave my face. I'll keep it there because I want it there. You know what I mean? It's not like I am filming trying to be a female. You know what I mean? That's totally not what it is. I'm filming just for fun and that's why I don't mind having a blue cast on my face because I'm a man and I'm not trying to like cancel it out. I'm not doing drag, I'm just doing fun makeup. I just use a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm gonna push that in. Hello coverage, my name is Manny MUA and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> okay, cool, so now we're gonna just set the under eyes with the same beauty blender and my little RCMA no color powder. I, well, I do, I just like press the bottle, but the powder goes up to the top and I'll just like dunk my beauty blender. It's not the most sanitary, but it's only mine, so I don't really like care that much, to be honest. I just don't. And I'll set my under eye with the RCMA No Color Powder. Which I've been using so much recently. It's like all I've been using underneath my eyes, actually. I mean, if you're using a lot of it, it works great. Like, if I were to do like a small like spritz of it, I'd be like, shit, I need to like change it up. But since I'm doing like a lot, I'm like cooking with it, it works out really, really nicely for me. Mommy creases, okay? Mommy creases, and that's what it is. Mm. Oh, fuck me. It looks like I'm a coke whore. Okay, we're gonna work with that. But yeah, so my parents are coming up to celebrate my dad's birthday. We're gonna go to Universal Studios tomorrow. And it's gonna be so much fun, I can't wait. I haven't seen my mom and my dad in a minute. Well, my dad, yes, I have seen him because he kind of helps me around with work. But my mom, she has a little job in San Diego and I fucking hate it. I mean, I love it. I'm so happy for her because she got her RN and it's amazing that she has a job. And I'm so proud of her, but I miss her so much. And I just wish that she moved to LA already so that I can See her every day. I am a mother's boy. Like, I mean, you guys probably knew this already. You're probably like, Manny, we know you're a fucking crazy. But I'm such a mama's boy. Like, I don't like being, like, not with her, if that makes any sense. So, Morphe just came out with a new gunmetal collection. It's completely gold. That is massive. Look at my face. It's so big. I'm gonna be using the Y7. I'm assuming Y for yellow gold. I'm just gonna dip it into my Studio Fix powder by MAC and put this down my neck. Whenever I'm putting powders down my neck, I always like to use really, really dense brushes because. That picks up the color and picks up the powder and it actually deposits a good amount of coverage rather than like a little baby amount of coverage. Like, no bitch. I need color. I need coverage. And whatever I have left on the brush, I'm just gonna put it over my cheeks because... I want to. This is a nice fucking brush. Oh my gosh. This is super, super dense, but so soft. Why seven? Oh fucking K. 
I see you, bitch. I'm just gonna use like, I have like the whole entire, I literally, I'm literally unboxing them right now. I'm not unboxing them, but I'm like using them right now. I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna use them all, fuck it. Y11, God, this is like, mm, that's why I was like, I wonder why I like these so much. They're the elite bristles. I was like, why am I living for this so much? Why are they so soft? Elite bristles. You guys know the elite collection by Morphe is my favorite collection they've ever done. They're so good. It's stupid how good they are. Okay, Marc Jacobs, Instamark, same brush. We're just gonna highlight the under part of our eyes. Okay guys, so since the holiday season is coming up, what is your favorite thing about the holiday season? Like, what's your favorite thing? Do you guys love like the food that's around? Do you guys love like the camaraderie? Do you love like the decorations? Do you love the atmosphere? Do you love it all? Like, what is your favorite thing about the holidays? I'm just curious. I mean, like, we're doing this, like, get ready. We might as well fucking talk, you know? I would say mine is definitely the love during the holiday seasons, you know? And it's, like, I know that the holiday season is also extremely stressful and it's also a lot of time for, like, hatred and, like, just a lot of negativity because that's just how it is sometimes. You know, the holidays bring out the best and they bring out the worst in people. But I would say my favorite, favorite part is the amount of love and just the atmosphere of the holiday season. It's such a caring, like, giving time. And I just love that so, 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 so much. I just love that. It's, like... It makes me like geeky. The one thing I'll say about holiday season though, that makes me kind of like sad or depressed is that like I don't have like a boyfriend or a significant other. Does that make sense? Like I feel like during the holiday season is when I notice it more. Why five? During like my everyday life, I don't notice it. Like I don't really care that I don't have a boyfriend or I don't have a man or whatever. But there's something about the holiday season that makes me like realize that I'm not with someone. Does that make any sense? Like there's nothing like the holiday season to remind me that I'm fucking single. <laughs> Once bitten. And twice shy. It's so funny slash sad, like how every year I'll be like, this year's the year I'm gonna have a boyfriend. This year's the year I'm gonna like have someone in my life that I care about and that I'll like buy a present for or something. I don't know. Like I cannot be the only one thinking that. I cannot be the only one thinking like during the holiday seasons is when I'm always like, and I'm not saying I'm not happy single. I'm very happy being single. I love it. I'm very independent. I don't like when people are needy towards me. There's like a lot of things I don't like about the aspect of being with someone, but there's something about it at the same time that makes me like, sad i'm like hmm i think i'd be a really cool boyfriend you know i think i'd have a lot i think i have a lot to offer someone so maybe one day during this christmas time i'll have a boyfriend we'll see <laughs> honestly raise of hands show of hands who here would die if i had a boyfriend <laughs> die we would die like i think we would all just fucking die but i'm also extremely picky so there's that uh there's a lot there's a criteria for me to even consider like wanting to date someone smart driven kind um close with their family hopefully because i'm close with mine and i can't really imagine like dating someone that wasn't close to their own That'd be really, really, really weird. I'm gonna be taking, for the tutorial part today of today's look, I'm gonna be taking the Nubian 2 palette. It just looks so nice, and I got it in the mail, and I swatched a couple colors, and I was like... So I'm gonna be taking the shade Zuri, and I'm gonna highlight with that one, because it looks really nice. And it's really, really pigmented and really bright, so we'll see. Oh, that's so pretty. Ooh, okay, come on, Zuri. It's actually quite blinding in person, holy shit. I don't know if the lighting can pick it up, but... But, damn! But then, okay, great. So I went ahead and I did my brows and contoured my nose a little bit off of camera just to like just to pitch it down a little bit, a little rhinoplasty up in this horror. And my eyes are primed, by the way. So we're gonna do an eye look now. So a lot of you, <laughs> I have a poll going up on Twitter right now. It has like thousands and thousands of votes on it, and it literally is tied between warm copper and emerald green. So I'm going to just incorporate both the warm copper and the emerald green. I think I'm gonna do a warm co copper eye look on the top, and then like emerald green lower lash line. Just to incorporate both for you guys because you guys did vote, and you guys were definitely part of it, but both of them are literally at the exact same rate of winning. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and do both of them with the Juvia's Place Nubian palette. Both these are gonna be incorporated in today's look because they just look so snatched. So this palette doesn't really have a really soft transition. So I'm gonna go in with the Nubian One palette and use one of these colors as like my little transition shade. I'm gonna take this guy right there. I'm gonna take a little bit of that and put it on a Morphe Y16, which reminds me of an E27, very similar. I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the crease and this is just gonna help warm up the crease and have a transition for us to go down with first so we can blend the other colors into this color okay so i'm thinking about taking this shade of morocco it's a really nice bright like orange rusty orange on a morphe m433 so i'm gonna do that on the eyes as well i just think that putting like a really warm orange shade into the crease makes everything just pop and look so pretty and so complimentary especially since i have greener eyes and i just like to use oranges in my everyday look because it just complements my eyes very well i know a lot of you guys are always like why are you using so much oranges but it's just like it works great with my eye color so i'm gonna keep incorporating oranges and then using different colors to like be accent colors so that's kind of why I'm taking this Morocco shade. I'm gonna put that onto the crease a little bit lower. 
and a little bit less heavy handed, but I'm concentrating on the outer corner, a little bit lower than I have that first original shade. Look at that, that's so gorgeous. Jesus, I'm gonna go all the way to the inner corner. This is why having a transition shade down first really, really, really helps because it's so much easier to blend out this bright Morocco shade, which was gonna be a little bit harder to blend out originally. I just think that transition shades to me are really, really important, and that's why I love using them. I hope it looks blended on camera because in person it's blended to fucking fill. So now for the star of the lid, I'm gonna be taking the shade YAA, which is like yeah. I think it's just yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna take that on my finger. It's, a, you guys, it is so crazy pigmented, this palette. It's like shocking, look. Like, it's crazy. I'm like, oh my god, what the hell? And it's like not expensive either, which is why it's like a trip to me. Okay, whatever. So I'm gonna take that shade, yeah, on my finger and I'm gonna put it on the lid. Like, are you for real? Look at that shit. Oh, that's deadly. That is deadly. Oh, that shade is so pretty. Holy crap, it's like a firebird shadow on my face. I'm gonna go ahead and just take that M433 one more time and blend out those edges so there's no harsh lines in between. And just be careful with Fallout because these really pigmented intense shades that are kind of foiled tend to have a little bit of fallout, you know, you feel me? So just be careful with that. Okay, great, so now that we have the top of the lash line done, um, let's do the bottom lash line now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the shade Egypt, which is this shade right here. It's a really pretty emerald green. And I'll put that all over the lower lash line on this little Morphe Y20 brush. Any pencil brush will do. I'm just gonna go and smoke out my lower lash line with this. Maybe, oh wait, I'm gonna, should I smoke it out? Like, should I use black? Okay, we're gonna do that first, hold up. I'm gonna go and take the Monster Liner by Arden C. And it's one of my favorite eyeliners of all time. It's so good, so freaking good. I'm gonna run that on the lower lash line and a little bit on the actual lashes because I'm going to be smoking it out down here. It's very creamy, which is why I like it so much. It's creamy, it's black, it doesn't move. All the way to the tear duct. I'm not gonna take it all the way in, like all the way, all the way in. My eyes get watery, but I'm gonna take it pretty far. I'm really, really piling it on that lower lash line, like really piling it on. And I'm just gonna take an E36 brush by Morphe, of course. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out before it starts to dry. Because having a black base down first will make it look so awesome, the green, and it'll really pop and stand out. And now we're gonna pile on the green with this Y20 brush. Ooh, I'm gonna blend a little bit lower. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I did my eyeliner off of camera because it was taking me so long to do eyeliner. Just It just does. It just does. That's how it happens. But I wanted to show you guys really quickly that I'm going to be highlighting the inner corner and my brow bone with the shade Zuri, which is the highlight shade I used on shit. I'm going to take a little bit on a Morphe M326. Amazing inner corner brush. It's my favorite one of all time. I'm just going to pile it on. Ooh! Do not be stingy. <gasps> yes, go. Brow bone too. Oh, that's so beautiful. Fuck, Zuri, you're like giving me life. Okay, I'm gonna be taking the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, my favorite mascara basically of all time. I use this all the time. I'm like almost out of this tube, shit. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara to prep for the false lashes I'm gonna be putting on because you guys already know I wasn't gonna do anything with no false lashes. <laughs> shit, don't poke your eyes. Okay, great. So I went ahead and put some lashes on off of camera. I'm wearing the New Balance some Bella lashes as always. You guys know this is like my go-to lash all the time. Like this is my go-to lash. I cannot like not wear this fair. Especially when I'm doing a dramatic look like this. Like I feel like this kind of look calls for dramatic ass lashes. Like wispy as fuck. Just like slaying these horrors, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and do the lip now. And I'm thinking I want to do something kind of cost effective. So we're going to take NYX Peekaboo Neutral Lip Liner, one of my go-tos in the past. We're going to go ahead and line our entire lip. That's a little high for me. Oh my God, even for me. Not too bad. I'm going to fill in about half the lip, like so. And now I'm going to go in with another affordable product. I'm going to be going in with the new Maybelline Nude Thrill Lipstick. This is their Loaded Bold Collection, which is like a really pigmented, I believe their matte collection, like a matte satin. Let's go and try it. I haven't tried any of these yet. I haven't tried any of them, but Nude Thrill just sounded like right up my fucking alley. Oh, that's really pretty. That reminds me of Myth. Oh my God, this is like a Myth dupe. Whoa, that is light. Tell me this does not look like Mac Myth. Oh, that feels so good. I love Maybelline's lipstick so much. And this is the final look. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for helping me pick out what colors to be using in today's video on my Twitter. <laughs> and if you guys do not follow me on Twitter, 
Follow me on Twitter, and if not, follow me on Snapchat. Or follow me on both. I mean, who? I had so much fun creating this look for you guys. Honestly, I have so much fun just filming videos. I haven't filmed in weeks because I've been out of town. I went to New York and November has also been a blur. October was crazy blur, but November has also been a blur. And so I've been out of town a lot and I've just been pre-filming and putting up videos for you guys because I wanted to. And thank you so much for all the love and support on the Vitiligo video. I really honestly appreciate it so much. You guys know like it's something that I'm working with currently and I'm trying to just like get over my insecurities. And I feel like it's really happening and I feel like every day I'm getting better and better and better. So thank you so much for being there and supporting me and understanding where I was coming from. Um, everything of course I talked about in today's video, everything on my face I'm using will be linked down below as it always is as well as discount codes or whatever you may need. Just so you guys know, I do leave always everything I use linked down below as well as links to like go buy it if you guys wanted to or not. I just have it there just in case. It's just easier for you guys if you guys want to. Some are affiliate links, some aren't, but I'm just letting you know that it is there for your resources if you want. This shit is in four fucking K. This shit is a 4 fucking K. Hopefully it doesn't look too crazy. Yeah, 4K is very scary, but I think the lighting makes it look really pretty. And I'm not so terrified of the 4K as much as I was because I was fucking scared. I was fucking scared for, for a while because I was like, I'm not doing that because that's too much. But if you guys enjoy the 4K, I will continue to upload in 4K. Just let me know. And yeah, um, other than that, there's nothing else to say besides have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Mwah. Love you. I'm just gonna highlight the under night, under night of our. <sighs> My nose is done. Okay, amazing. So I went ahead. <clears throat> Phlegm. Is it recording? Oh yes, it is. <laughs> God, that was a struggle. That was a fucking struggle bus, guys. Today, and then I'm gonna put. Fuck. Thanksgiving time and Thanksgiving time. I just said that twice. <sighs> Holy my breath. And I'm posing, I'm holding my breath every time. I have, of course, like the backdrops, backdrops. I, of course, have the backdrop, backdrop, backdrops. <laughs> okay, great guys, so I go ahead, I go ahead. It's one of those days, isn't it? Fuck. I feel like a pumpkin, in a way. Huh. It's funny, because I always blame my mother for taking on a scarab, but this time it wasn't her. Was it Nick? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding.